Hello and welcome to another video. We have a limit problem and also it's an equation that we're supposed to solve. But the problem here is we have two unknowns. We're supposed to find A and B, but we're given just one equation. Okay, now let's see how that goes. So you have a limit situation where x is approaching zero. But if you observe that as x approaches zero in this case, this function is going to start thinking of becoming undefined because there is no x on top to cancel this x out. So if you just put x here and this is zero, then this function becomes undefined. And remember, for the limit to exist, the function itself has to be defined at that point. Okay, unless what you're going to get when you do the direct substitution will be zero over zero. Because if you get zero over zero, then you start thinking, okay, there must be some algebraic manipulation I could do to get rid of the discontinuity or the state of being undefined, which means you can cancel this x out. But the way it is, you can't cancel any x out because the x here is trapped. So what if you're going to get zero over zero? Then L'Hopital's rule can apply. We know it has to apply because the limit exists. They already gave us the limit to be 5 over 12. So this limit is not the case of, or oh, the limit does not exist. And it's not infinity. So it means something has to be done to this x that is down here. So the first thing, which is the safest thing for you to think, is that you're going to get zero over zero, which is what makes sense. And if you substitute x equals 0 here and x equals 0 here, well, obviously you'll get 0. On top also, you should get 0. So let's play with that and say that substituting x equals 0 in the top here will give us 0. So we can have 0 over 0, and then we can think of applying L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so let's say that the cube root of ax plus b minus 2, when you substitute 0 to it, will be, will be um, this is going to give you 0, okay? When, when x equals 0, then this is going to give you 0, okay? So let's try and see what we can do with this. So the cube root of a into 0 plus b minus 2 equals 0. So that tells you that the cube root of b equals, um, if this 2 goes over to that side, it's going to be 2. Oh, the cube root of a number is 2. That number must be 8. So b is 2 to the third, which is equal to 8. So we have solved the second part of this problem because now we know that this must be 8 so that when you plug in 0 here, it's going to be 0 plus 8. And then if you take the cube root of 8, that's 2. 2 minus 2 gives you 0. So you have the 0 over 0 situation. And now we can apply L'Hopital's rule to this function because we know that this is going to work out. So now that we understand that we can apply L'Hopital's rule to it on the basis of what we have done, we're just going to rewrite this problem. Put b equals 8 just to make things a bit easy. And we apply L'Hopital's rule to the function and then see, I mean, to the limit, and then see how we relate it to 5 over 8. So let's start with that. I'm going to rewrite this so we can say, we can say, therefore, that the limit as x goes to 0 of the cube root of ax plus 8 minus 2 over x equals 5 over 12. So I'm just going to take the limit of this and then compare it to 5 over 12 and see if I can get something good. Because the only thing I'm looking for now is A. I already know that B is equal to A. Okay, let's write it here. B equals A. Okay, now, so let's do that. Well, in taking this limit, because I'm going to be differentiating, applying L'Hopital's rule. So to apply L'Hopital's rule, I'm going to say that the limit as x goes to 0 of d dx of this expression. I will rewrite this expression as um, an exponent. So it's going to be ax plus 8 raised to 1 third. 
okay? That's a cleaner way to write this expression, minus 2, okay? If I take the limit of this expression on top, divided by the dx of x, um, I'm going to get 5 over 12. But I'm just going to leave this 5 over 12 aside and let it be. So what do we get when we differentiate? Well, if you differentiate this, applying the chain rule, you're going to have this. The limit as x goes to 0 of 1 third of ax plus 8. Then you subtract 1 from this. That's negative 2 over 3. Okay, then you multiply it, remember, by the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule. That's going to be just a, okay? That's what you get. Minus, this is going to give us just 0, divided by the derivative of x is 1. Okay, well, this tells us that it's the limit as x goes to 0. Well, let's clean this up. This is going to be a over 3. So I'm going to say it's a over 3. It's going to be ax plus 8 raised to negative 2 thirds. No problem. That's what we've got. Okay, so let's take the limit by substituting x equals 0. Well, this is going to lead us to um, a over 3 times. This is going to be 0 because x is 0 plus 8. So it's just going to be 8 to negative 2 over 3. Mm. Well, what does that look like? That looks like this. It looks like a over 3 times 8 raised to 2 thirds. Well, what is 8 to the 2 thirds? That's going to be equal to a over Cube root of 8 is 2. When you square it, it's 4. 4 times 3 gives you 12. Oh, did you see that? Okay, I'm just going to finish this here. <laughs> okay, did you see that? So the limit we just took is a over 12. So a over 12 equals 5 over 12. Clearly, a equals 5. And what did we say b was? b equals a. Well, that is the beauty of this beauty. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.